flowers come in different shapes and sizes, and it's important to choose the right one for each job. Considering factors such as the ground space available, the platform size required, and the height you need to reach. It's not simply a case of reaching for the nearest tower and thinking, it'll do. Your manager is responsible for selecting a suitable tower that's appropriate for the task and making sure it meets the relevant safety standards, although they may take advice from manufacturers, suppliers or hire centres. So how do you check that a tower is suitable for the task? There are five things you need to consider. Is it the right height? Is it the right width and length? Is it the right configuration? Is the access method right for this job? For example, if you have materials or larger tools or equipment to carry up and down, then a stairway tower will be the best option. Is it the right material? Towers are usually made of aluminium, but if you're working near overhead lines or any other electrical source, then use a GRP tower, also known as a fiberglass tower. But remember, this does not completely eliminate the risk of electrocution, so you must follow the correct processes for taking isolations and checking there are no live electrical hazards around the areas that you're working. If you know the tower is suitable, next you want to know that it's safe. Your manager will ensure that any tower you use is certified to either EN1004 Part 1 or BS1139 Part 6. They will also ensure the instruction manual for the make and model of the tower that you will be using is available on site, as it contains the critical information needed to assemble it safely. The quick way to be sure a tower is safe is to check that it's made and supplied by a PASMA approved manufacturer or hire a dealer member. These companies have made a commitment to only make and supply equipment that complies with minimum safety standards and to always provide a comprehensive instruction manual. However, that doesn't mean the components will be safe to use forever. They can become damaged or worn over time. As an operative, it's your responsibility to check each individual component to make sure they are in good working condition before you assemble them into a tower. These videos are not a substitute for PASMA training. If you're working on towers, you must be competent to use them for work at height. If you're assembling, inspecting, moving, altering or dismantling towers, or supervising work on towers, you should be PASMA trained. For more tower safety information and resources, visit pasma.co.uk.